in Vedic mathematics, they have some very different ways of approaching addition and multiplication. And one of the tools that is kind of foundational in order to kind of work with some of the multiplication and division and also checking that work is doing what's called a digit sum. Digits are the single um, figure numbers, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and also 0. And sum means addition. So we're going to be looking at how to find the digit sums of these numbers, and then we're going to come up with, this is cool, but then we're going to come up with an even cooler way of doing it, which is even faster. So just the basic thing, digit sum, and I'm not putting an equal sign because it's not equal to 7, but basically the digit sum just means add the digits, 6 plus 1, so the digit sum is 7. The digit sum of 23, add the digits, 2 plus 3, 5. The digit sum of 742, 7 plus 4 is 11. 11 plus 2 is 13. And the digit sum of 13 is 1 plus 3, 4. Digit sum of 239, 2 plus 3 is 5, 5 plus 9 is 14, but once again we're getting to a single digit number, so 1 plus 4 is 5, so 239, those digits add up to 5. Yikes, big number, once again. Nice thing about Vedic mathematics is there's usually some way to even compress it, do a digital compression, and make it even easier and faster. So I'll do it the long way just so you believe me when we get to the shortcut. So 5 plus 2 is 7. Here's another 7. 7 plus 7 is 14. Fourteen plus six is twenty. And once again, we're getting to one number, a single digit number. So two plus zero is two. Now, there are applications to this that are going to be shown in other videos. You're probably going, what is she doing? And what's it for? So this is, these are really kind of some foundational pieces that are going to help with um, addition and subtraction and checking our answers, and there's other applications later, but we're just kind of making sure you have this piece down because this is going to show up and it's going to be really helpful to know how to do it. So what we're going to do is, you know, we did this, we added up all these numbers. Some of it got a little bit tedious and you're going, hmm, I'm not seeing how this is so fast and easy. There is a technique called casting out the nines. If you look at the video that I made about the nine point circle and the sequel to that, the nine point circle y is nine and zero has similar properties, this will make more sense. But for right now, I'm just saying if you see a, a nine, or something that adds to 9, we can just basically say, for digit sum purposes, that 9 is basically equal to 0. I know that looks really weird as a math teacher to do that. I can't come up with an easier, if I have to come up with some other type of symbolism, because obviously that drives me crazy too, but for all intents and purposes at this point, we're going to say that 9, when we see a 9, we're going to basically just make that a 0. How about that? We'll make this here. That's better. <laughs> 9 goes to 0. <laughs> so here, 742, I can go through 7 plus 4, 11, compress, compress, down to 4. Or what I can do is anytime I see something that adds to 9 or is 9, I can just make that a 0. Here's 7 and 2 that adds to 9, so the digit sum is 4. Look at that, 742, 4. Oh, 
here is a 9. Well, 9 have similar property to 0, so I can just kind of cast that 9 out. 2 plus 3 is 5. 239, 5. 239, 5. Ah, and the beauty of it all, the reason why we really do this, is 4 plus, 5 plus 4 is 9. 3 plus 6 is 9. The digit sum is 2. Told you it would be much easier. <laughs> Once again, look at some of the other videos so you understand some of the applications. And read some of the books. This is just you know, a preview kind of whet the appetite.